One of the most popular recipes on my website is my keto lasagna, and it doesn't use any sort of like cabbage or zucchini noodle. It uses like a protein noodle, which is deli chicken slices, and people like it just because it's less carbs, easier to make, and it's not watery. But I have had a lot of requests to do a keto zucchini lasagna. So that's what we're doing today. So let's get started. Now, I love all types of lasagna, and it doesn't matter what sort of noodle we use, as long as it's low carb, I'm down for it. Today, I wanted to use the zucchini because it's a popular vegetable. It's one that we all have access to in the grocery store. The only downside is that it, is that it can make your lasagna kind of watery, or just lots of moisture gets released, and it makes it kind of soupy at the end. So I have some tips that we can use in order to avoid that, and this recipe turned out fabulous. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you guys get notified every time I post a new recipe. And let me know down in the comments what your favorite keto lasagna noodle is. Do you like to use the deli slice kit chicken like I do? Or do you use like the hearts of palm noodles or cabbage leaves? Or maybe you use zucchini? Let me know down in the comments. To make this recipe, all you really need is one zucchini. You might need a little bit of a second one, but really just one zucchini will work. One tip I have for getting your zucchini not to make a soggy lasagna is to cut them in very thin strips. So I used a mandolin slicer to do this, and I got them as thin as possible. Um, you can do thicker ones, but the thicker your zucchini is, the more moisture it holds, and the more it's gonna leak into your lasagna. The next tip I have in order to make our zucchini lasagna not soupy is to actually dehydrate it. So if you lay it out on a cutting board or a plate, just sprinkle it with some salt and wait for around 15 to 20 minutes. This will help absorb some of that moisture out. It will seep out and then just blot it out with a paper towel, all of the excess moisture. So I'm doing two of these tips today and I hope it will make for a non soupy lasagna. While we're waiting for all of that excess moisture to be sucked out of our zucchini noodles, let's start on the meat for our lasagna. I have one pound of ground beef going into the skillet along with a couple tablespoons of olive oil. You're gonna brown your ground beef over medium heat and then we're gonna add the following seasoning. You'll need one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, and I like to add a quarter teaspoon of anise. You don't have to add this, I just really think it adds like a special flavor to all of my Italian dishes. While our ground beef is cooking, let's take time to thank our sponsor for today's video, which is Built Bar. You guys know I've talked about them before. They are a keto-friendly protein bar that is great for like post-workout or just kind of like a meal replacement or a snack in between meals if you like to snack. But I like them. They're very low in carbs. They have tons of different flavors um, from this is banana bread, which I've heard is a favorite to, to some people. Um, and the chocolate, this is cookies and cream. They have a wide range of flavors from coconut, mint brownie, peanut butter, the list goes on and on. You guys should check out their website. I'll have it linked down below in the description box and you can save 20% off your order when you click on that link as well. These bars are loaded with protein. They use real chocolate in it and they're sweetened with erythritol. Once your brown beef is cooked through and brown, now we're gonna add our sauce. This is the type of low carb marinara that I'm using today. There's only three net carbs in half of a cup. So I have one cup of marinara sauce getting poured into my ground beef mixture. And I'm gonna mix it and let it cook for a few more minutes until everything is combined. Moving on to our white sauce. For our white sauce, I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of ricotta cheese. Make sure you look for the whole milk ricotta cheese because it will have the least amount of carbohydrates in it. A quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese, one egg, and one teaspoon of garlic powder. Mix this together until it's combined. Now our keto zucchini lasagna is ready to assemble. I'm gonna layer down a half a cup of that marinara sauce, followed by a layer of our zucchini noodles. 
Next, spoon on about half of your ground beef mixture. And then top with about half of your white sauce. Layer down some mozzarella cheese. I'm using sliced mozzarella cheese. You could use shredded if you want to. And then we're gonna repeat our layers. You wanna bake this in a 400 degree oven for around 25 to 30 minutes. And now the moment of truth. Here is our keto zucchini lasagna. It is delicious. We did get some moisture in there, but that's okay. Maybe if I had dehydrated my zucchini noodles a little bit longer, we would have gotten that excess moisture out, but you could just lift this up with a slotted spatula or a spoon and you won't get any moisture on your plate. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite type of lasagna is, that is for noodles, whether that's a protein noodle like my chicken deli slices, zucchini, or cabbage. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button if you liked it, and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post new recipes.